What's up my ladies? My name is Pokey Dragon. Welcome back to another video. Now in this video, today we are going to a Cars and Coffee event, which I haven't been to in a long time, which is Carolina Exotics Car Club. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I've heard some pretty good things are going to be showing up to the event. And I've already posted on Instagram that I will help people if they need help detailing their car. Because I got some of the goods, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, that yep, that's today, you guys. And today is also the second command's birthday. So, depending on what time the event ends and what time do I feel is right to go over to their place, I will vi visit them on the way back home. So, with that being said, you guys, let's get on the road and let's go see some beautiful cars today. All right, you guys, so we're finally here at Carolina Exotics Car Club. And check out this gang right here. We got an E46 BMW um, M3. We got an F80 BMW M4. Oh, my God. We need to go check out what's behind there. But anyways, and then we also got my car. We got a whole BMW gang right here. Oh my gosh, what is that? Jesus! <laughs> well, I guess we should go over there and check it out, shall we guys? Oh! That was making the noise, you guys. Holy crap! Wow! Wow, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. That's, um... That's incredibly loud, Jesus! Oh my goodness! Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. So I just got information about what the heck this thing is. This is apparently a Ford Pantera. Looks amazing, really loud. Very scared of it, because holy crap, that's intense and insane. My goodness. Oh, we also got an older Corvette right there, which is pretty cool as well. I don't even know if you guys can even hear me. Jesus! Uh, check this out. We got a Camaro ZL1 1LE right here, you guys, as well. But we also have an Aston Martin Rape Rapid. Right? I think that's something like that. I'm going to put the word of what the thing is, you know, in editing. But holy crap, you guys. This thing looks absolutely amazing. And for a four-door Aston Martin, because I like my two-doors Aston Martin, personally. But a four-door Aston Martin looking this nice and clean? Holy crap. It looks really, really good. Even, even check out the wheels. The wheels on this thing looks absolutely beautiful as well. The fact that Aston Martin did go, went through the trouble of making them, like, have this type of design on them. Like, this right there. Looks amazing as well. Oh, look, you have a little video ability port in there. Okay, okay. Looking pretty nice. And then, we have the ZL1 1LE right here. Now, personally, I really wish they got to give this thing a 10 speed. They should have left the regular ZL1 to have a manual this one has a 10 speed because I think for a 10 speed in this car would be so incredible, so astonishing. I would actually buy one of these if they had a 10 speed automatic in there. That's something I would buy because holy crap, that looks so amazing and so aggressive. I mean, even look at the canards on this thing right here, you guys. The canards on this thing are just intense as well. It has the carbon fiber part right here as well, which all the other ones should have. I don't understand why they put the gloss black on there as well. We also have the ZL1's 1LE's wheels because the regular ZL1's wheels are a little bit more aggressive than these but these are not bad at all these are not bad whatsoever we also have the signature ZL1 spoiler right here which looks absolutely amazing holy crap I really do love the ZL1 spoiler because it really just it looks really aggressive and for this car I think more aggressiveness is pretty amazing as well but the one thing I like about this car than, you know, a regular ZL1, well, is, well, this one in particular, it's blue. But this type of blue is the blue that I so, 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 so love so much. I love this blue. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be right back with you guys so that way they can turn. Holy crap. That's, um... Uh, 
That's intense. All right, you guys, so check this out. This is a Lexus RCF, and oh my goodness. That blue looks nice, but I've actually have seen a lot of people do reviews on this thing and they're saying, oh, it doesn't sound good. You know, it's not that well performer. This is a pretty, a pretty significant, pretty amazing, good performer. I've actually have gotten a ride in one of these before. These are not bad at all. In fact, these things look absolutely gorgeous and they're pretty darn quick as well. Well, I'll leave like a spec, you know, over there or like right there wherever I put it but yeah amazing spec Woo! we got head turner showing up oh -ho! we got head turner showing up Woo! beautiful Z06 we got a Hellcat Beautiful Ford Mustang. Woo! Beautiful Camaro. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, a squad going. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? Talk about a squad, isn't it? That is one heck of a squad. Head turner showing up strong. These are some of the one of the cooler members showing up. I'm kidding. All head turners are cool, but these guys are. But these guys, I've actually, I actually know because they were actually at the head turners meet, um, well, private event. Which, if you guys haven't seen my playlist on that, you know, I'm link in the description down below. You know, it's a pretty good playlist. Anyways, yeah, check it out. Head turners out the wall. Who? Beautiful Z06 startup. Love it, love it. The LT4, baby. Beautiful Camaro SS, Dodge Challenger RT. Freaking aggressive and mean looking Cadillac. I actually don't know what this one is. CTS, there you guys go, a CTS. Then we got one of my dudes over here. We got, blue, we got the blue Camaro SS over here as well. Oh, Blue Thunder, excuse me. Blue Thunder, S, S excuse me. Ford Mustang GT. Well, Shelby, excuse me. GT350. <laughs> then we got the, the Dodge Hellcat right here. Beautiful, beautiful Z06 with, obviously for you guys, manual lovers, seven-speed manual transmission. Then we got, got Vanessa's beautiful, beautiful, well, like I keep seeing on her story, her thing is absolutely gorgeous. Camaro SS 50th anniversary rendition. Well, not rendition, but like idea what they were thinking about creating. We just, wow, he was moving. But yeah, this is Vanessa's beautiful Camaro SS and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Holy crap, you guys. If you guys remember that Mercedes, that that's one of the squad members right there as well. Let's just say he's um pretty cool. He's pretty co cool. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen him. Hope he's doing all right. Check out that Alfa Romeo, you guys. Woo. Look at those wheels. I actually, when it comes to Alfa Romeo, they make some of the most interesting wheels. But these are wheels that I actually really like as well. Like. This looks really amazing. It looks really nice. Beautiful, beautiful Acura NSX, you guys. Whew, look at that. I like the wheels that this person actually put on it. They look really amazing. Now, people who actually have these, or know if this is true, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this Acura NSX, or this generation, was out before, you know, the like the 2017 Acura NSX. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I think that's right. But I don't remember which one, which one was, no, no, it was this one, and then there was another one after it, then the 2017, because I remember the newer, the non, the one before the Acura, the 2017 Acura NSX, it was the normal, the ones without the pop-up headlights. Yeah. But what I've also he heard is that these things look Oh, yeah, they actually look really nice on the inside. They actually have a newer type of carbon fiber that 
I haven't, they haven't seen in a bit, so that's actually new. That's good. Newer type of carbon fiber. Okay, okay. And for it looks like it's a six speed manual. Okay. Okay. Wow, the gauges actually look not that bad. They actually, that's the old style type of gauges, and I really like those. Look really nice.